coming to you live from my prayer tower. This is where we started last week. And uh, I know a lot of amazing people are doing prayer meetings and uh, doing worship services uh, live, which I think is amazing. I'm so grateful. I've been watching tons of them. My heart behind these faith rallies, um, I think this is our sixth or seventh one, is to really uh, bring some leaders and really close friends of mine, uh, bring their wisdom, their direction, their discernment, and really some prophetic perspective to the days that we're living in, which I think um, we need now more than ever. You know, uh, I love that verse that says, you know, the sons of Issachar knew the times and the seasons in which they live. And I feel like this is an hour where we need to really understand and have a grasp on the times and seasons we live. And, you know, I mean, we're, (laughs) it's like balancing the prophetic perspective, but yet today I got to homeschool four kids, (laughs) which wasn't in my, which wasn't in my plan, probably like a lot of you guys. So, uh, first I want to invite one of my really close friends. I've known this guy for a very, very, very long time. And let me just get him on here. Where are you? Coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. Woo! Uh, What's up, buddy? Bro. Look at my honest, swag. You're not homeschooling me. That is good swag. Yeah, dude. I got you, man. <laughs> Hey, let's be honest. You're not homeschooling anyone. Kate's doing it all. <laughs> well, you know, th- I would I would agree with you mostly, except for the fact that Katura keeps like she just has this hunger for the hardest math problems in history, and so she's like, "Dad, we're gonna do math today for two hours." You know, I'm like, "Ah, uh, probably not that long." <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, man, thanks so much for jumping on. I I really um I really think you know these little these little shots of faith and perspective are super vital at least for me they're not helping anybody out there they're helping me um (laughs) but you know i know you have a praying worshiping community we were you know honored to be a part of that in the in the early days um and so i know you guys are getting downloads from the lord he's showing you stuff and i know that you're also navigating the same challenges so many of us are right now so i don't know man share share with us what's on your heart Prophesy over yeah. us, pray over us. Yeah, it's unprecedented, isn't it? It seems so fluid and it's daily changing. But, you know, our flow uh, within our community is we, we have this rhythm of life, praying morning, noon, and night. And so we have closed off the prayer room to the public. But, man, we're still uh, manning those hours and, and petitioning the Lord, ministering to him. So that's happening uh, right now, actually. So we, we, we're streaming online and, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yesterday I I was part of a set and, uh, there was no one in the room, but we had, we had upwards to, I think it was close to 20,000 people, uh, viewed that prayer meeting. And I think it's like quadrupled what it normally is. And I think there's such a hunger, um, to, to gather, uh, with others, um, in prayer. Uh, it's the thing to do right now. I think, yeah, I think, we have to pray and uh um, yeah and for ourselves and then for our community so um yeah i think i think the the prayer movement and praying communities man this is the hour to step up so it's been cool to see how how much hunger there is for that what uh what are you guys like as you're doing these you know as you're in the and by the way i i think it's it's amazing we're doing a, a massive call right now across the burn community this week and i think we're going to be doing uh maybe our, you know, we have almost about two to 300 furnaces of worship and prayer around the world. And we're, we're all going viral this weekend. We're going to try to do 24 to 48, 24 to 48, maybe in a hundred hours. Wow. I know, in, I know in Kosovo right now, they're setting up to do a hundred hours of worship and Come you on. know what, what we normally do in, in church buildings and, 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 you know, civic facilities. Now we're having to do in homes, which I think is very, you know, new Testament, and I, I think it's kind of like, man, the Lord can really use this. But what are, are you guys, as you're praying and, and worshiping and getting perspective, what are some of the things that you're seeing? Like, what's God saying? And, you know, what's the word to the church as you pastor young people that are losing their mind through this, you know, because they can't get their soy <laughs> latte um, every morning? 
Well, I think, I mean, I think the, the, we're combating is that spirit of fear. Yeah. And uh, there's this narrative that wherever you look, it's being played out with all the what is. And so I, I see uh, the Lord really calming us, really, really attuning yeah. our ear to him. Um, we, I just sense the Holy Spirit's eagerness to connect with his people and to put their souls at rest. Yeah. Uh, the, the voices are many. And so I think what prayer allows us to do is to connect to his frequency. And it's so easy to be connected to another frequency. And so, man, joining these prayer meetings, we need one another. Uh, I, I believe um, people that are wondering and, and looking for questions and answers are stumbling upon feeds like this. And yeah. man, they're yeah. hearing a different. We had a few stumble yesterday. Voice. <laughs> What'd you say? We had a few, we had a few random people stumble I on yesterday. <laughs> I saw that, but I think people are so hungry, man. And, and, yeah. and so I'm encouraging my community to, to boycott the news as much as possible. Yeah. Um, I think there's this tendency to get as much news and much information as we can. Right. But man, I figure if it's, if it's important enough, it'll get to me <laughs> yeah. somehow. Yeah. And I'm going to feed my soul good news. I'm going to live with thanks. I think Thanksgiving and praise in this hour are our yeah. weapons, man, that yeah. we are vertical in our affections and emotions. And we are under the word of God. I just, it's a time of, of intensity, and I think we need to respond intensely to it. And so uh, be careful what you feed from. That's what I'm asking my community yeah. to do. And, uh, and I think the prayer meeting is a great way uh, to get connected. Yeah, I will say, just to add on, you know, one of the things that's deeply encouraging to me, especially coming out of this season that, uh, you know, in this kind of this p political thing, <laughs> Um, is that there's a lot of amazing believers too. And, and I want to encourage everybody behind the scenes, you know, in, in, in these calls, you know, with the, with the, with the white house staff, there's a, so many believers behind the scenes that are working on this. They're praying. Uh, they're really pressing into actually the heart of God to get solutions, divine solutions, yeah. how to take care of this. But I will agree with you. It's like, we, we have to walk forward with a certain sense of, you know, awareness of what we're up against, awareness of, you know, it's like, I think Bill said on Sunday, you know, like you don't, you don't play with a rattlesnake. Like, you know, right. if people are telling you, if the government's telling you to do certain things, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of the times it's for our own safety and our own health. But then at the same time, we, we can't let allow those mandates to instill fear, mechanisms of fear. One of the things we've been doing, and, and I'd love for you to give something practical, Miller, and then maybe just pray over everybody. One of the things we've been doing is just making sure that our kids um, coming out on the back side of this, that they have memories of of you know this being a family time this being a time of joy this being a time where almost like a massive slumber party right right i mean li listen we, i got a lot of un places of uncertainty my whole schedule has been canceled for months that's what we rely upon um in our uh you know in our in our livelihood but yet at the same time i i can only control what i can control you know right. and I know that I want my kids to live through this. And on the back end, I want them to look back and remember that we had just a massive slumber party and we had so much fun with right. mom and dad. And, you know, I set up an obstacle course in the house yesterday because it was raining all day and we did an obstacle course, <laughs> and, you know, and then we're praying and we're processing these things with our kids. But I just was really struck with that, like the, the, the stewardship that we have over our families. And right. I know, Miller, you got a zillion kids, too. Uh, to ensure that they come out of this without that root of fear uh, right. stuck into them. So, right. Anyway, right. bro. Yeah. I, anything it, practical, and then you can pray. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I, I think routines is what we're finding at home uh, with no school and four kids, just having some <laughs> consistent routines. But it reminds me of I've I've just been going. I've been to Israel twice in the last uh, eight weeks, and you know the sh Shabbat is is across the board the city shut down yeah. yeah and the streets are empty yeah and uh and there's just a calm and a rest um i remember tiberius we were in tiberius and no one it was a saturday we're driving through and no one is out it was a ghost town and i i feel like in some ways 
um, you know, the, the world is being put to rest right now. We're, we're being yeah. forced to our homes. And so I think, I think we need to be, uh, we need to, we need to find rest in this moment and, and yeah. find rest with our kids. Uh, I think those routines are so, so crucial that we're again, just creating environments of faith, even for them. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I love that. You did an obstacle course for your kids, huh? <laughs> yeah. We just set it up in the house and I, I, I mean, it's just, just, I, I've always kind of been the king of making up random games and like, I feel like this is my time to shine. So <laughs> why don't you, uh, why don't you pray over <laughs> us? Why don't you just pray over us? Yeah. And, and, and by the way, guys do dial into the upper room prayer services. They're so life giving. They're so amazing. I know all of the, all of the, the worship leaders that carry just such a, a heart of David. And I just think it's good to feed your soul. So log on YouTube on their Instagram, all that, all that jam. But yeah, pray yeah. over us. And then... Yeah. This is going now. I'd love to, man. I'd love to. Well, we've just been praying Psalms 91 that, uh, uh, he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty and that we will yeah. say to the Lord, our God, he is our fortress, our refuge, the one in whom we trust, and that you deliver us, Lord. You protect us. And Lord, I just pray that, that fear is removed from your people, Lord, that we yeah. would dial in to you, Holy Spirit, and what you're speaking to us. And so may thanksgiving of praise arise in our hearts. Lord, just as we take moment by moment, Lord, uh, literally hour by hour, Lord, just presenting ourselves before you. And uh, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would quicken leaders on this call that you yeah. quicken them just with your strategies to shepherd your people and so we pray lord jesus for you to get the glory in this hour and uh man i pray also against this virus that just this thing would flatten and then it would not spread come on uh, lord that it wouldn't trend like it looks like it is we ask holy spirit that you move and that this thing would cease and desist as soon as possible in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. We entrust ourselves to you. We entrust our families to you. We entrust, Lord, our government and our officials making decisions. Lord, give them wisdom today. Give them yeah. peace today. May they be shepherded yeah. by you in the name of Jesus. We pray amen and amen and amen and amen, amen. 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 Love you, bro. Thanks for jumping hey, on. Hey, man. Thanks for doing this. Tell yeah. Corey hello. Corey's up next, huh? Yeah, he, Corey's up next. All right. I'll be watching. See you, buddy. All right.